Hi, it's Nikki here from Happy Hormones for Life, and I've got again the lovely Nicole Jardim, who's live from California, Las Vegas, no less, here to talk about your brand new book. Yes, I actually have the UK version right in front of me. It's a paperback, which is so cool. Tell us, Nicole, when is it out in the UK? Yes. Okay, so it's out in the UK on April 30th, so that's next week, Thursday. And um, that actually is also for Australia and many countries in Europe as well, even India. So it's kind of amazing this UK version is available in so many countries. Very and the US is a couple of days before that, I believe, in the US. Yeah, Tuesday the 28th. Mm -hmm. Great, yeah. great, great. I'm having and twins. How many, and how many years in the making has this been? <laughs> Oh my goodness. It has probably been, I mean, I talked to Wendy, my book agent in 2016 about this. So it's been a really long time. I cannot believe four years has gone by, but apparently that tends to happen. And yeah, I mean, I spent like probably, I don't know, I got the book deal in October of 2018. And so I started preparing in December of 2018. So it has been a year and a half at least. Oh. Remind us of the title so that we can look it up. On oh yes. I should have said that. Fix your period, everyone. As you can period. see here, that's, close that's up. The same as your brand and your website, etc. So it's going to feel it very is. familiar to people that follow you. Yes, um, I hope so. Yeah. And what can, we, on brand. what can we expect from the book? Yeah. So basically, you know, it's funny. I kind of wrote this book for myself as well as for everybody else. And the reason I say that is because I, when I was thinking about writing it, I was flashing back a lot to my 20 something year old self, early twenties, when I had been on the birth control pill for a number of years at that point and had been really struggling with all of these, what I refer to as seemingly unrelated symptoms because there was hair loss and then there was stuff going on with the skin of my face. And then I had chronic UTIs and I, had, I was putting on weight and I had horrible gut health issues. And so I went to multiple doctors and all of these specialties and nobody really had any answers, much less any kind of sustainable solution. And that was one of my biggest struggles back then, just feeling like I was in the dark, had no idea what was going on with my body and felt just completely out of control. And so when I thought back to that person, what did I really want? I really wanted someone to explain to me what was going on, explain that how the birth control pill actually worked so that I would understand that this was why I had all of these seemingly unrelated symptoms and then provide a protocol that made sense. So that's essentially what I did. So I, in the first half of the book, it's called mapping your menstrual cycle. And I'm really talking through what, you know, what all is going on in your body. So we're decoding our periods. We're really understanding what a normal period is versus what a not normal period is and how your hormones actually work and that you actually don't need to be in a hate, hate relationship with your hormones. You can actually love them. And then also decoding period problems because I find that what happens is there are a few key hormones, as you well know, Nikki, that are the ones that become imbalanced and cause problems. And there's a trickle down effect onto our sex hormones and our menstrual cycles. And if you can get the key hormones at the top to a little under control, then you can start to see results in the rest of your health issues. And so that's really what I was trying to explain with the, oh, sorry, the demystifying of the different period problems, whether it's PCOS or endometriosis or um, uterine fibroids or estrogen dominance, low progesterone, whatever it is, it's all caused by a few hormonal issues. So that's where I break down that. And then we move into a six week protocol where I'm just talking about the pillars of our hormonal health. And that's our food, obviously, addressing our blood sugar imbalances, our gut health, our liver, our thyroid, and our stress. And so I feel like those are the, the critical components of hormonal balance, so to speak. And that's really what I'm working through with everyone in the six week protocol that's in the book. Uh, fantastic. And I love the fact that, you know, you're drawing on your own experience of what it was like, not, not getting any answers from, from anybody around you. So you'll feel, you just feel so alone, don't you? And feel like completely out of control and not supported. Yeah. I mean, don't you have that as well with so many women who basically are just saying, wow, thank you for this resource because now I actually get it. Whereas before I was just sort of like feeling around in the dark, trying to figure out, you know, through Google searches and what my doctor is saying and what my friends are telling me or what someone's saying on a on whatever podcast. And that's really hard for us. It's, I think it's extremely taxing and it, it causes even more stress, I think, for many women. Yeah, you just don't know who or what to trust, do you? There's so much information out there. Yeah. Um, 
And what I love about your work is it makes my life a little bit easier too, because <laughs> you're like, you're talking about, you know, the, the menstrual, the reproductive issues that women can face. And what happens when they, they get these under control, their, their, their menstrual cycles and their reproductive phases, and, and when they've got control of those and they're improving their symptoms, they have a much better time during perimenopause and menopause, right? So, yes. But, because when you ignore all that stuff, the other thing we talked before, didn't we, when we had our earlier chat about how many women just accept the fact that PMS is, is just, they think it's just normal. Yes. And um, we've said, didn't we, that, that, you know, yes, it's very common, but that doesn't make it normal. And that was one of the myths I think you, you concentrate on kind of debunking, don't you, a lot of the time. Yeah, I really feel like, you know, this statistically normal versus biologically normal has really been confused. And we really, I think we need a paradigm shift when it comes to women's hormones, women's periods, and just general, like women's or female health in general. Um, I, you know, what I see and hear more and more of is this idea of medical gaslighting, this belief that, you know, we go into the doctor's office with a problem. We know we have a problem. Our gut is telling us that there's an issue here. And yet we don't know, we can't put our finger on it because we don't have the education about our bodies that we actually should have had 20 years ago to, to really hone in on what that issue is and where it's coming from. And what is often given to us, as you know very well, is the birth control pill or some other medication, maybe an antidepressant even, to address these issues. But this one size fits all band-aid approach just doesn't work. And we know that like, yes, it can work for the long, for the short term, potentially um, for some people, but generally speaking, it's not a sustainable solution. And so that's why I feel like we need to get back to that, that intuition, that body wisdom that we all have, that we were really told to turn off a long time ago because, mm -hmm. you know, you go to your doctor as a child, you usually have a cold or some other short-term problem and they, they help fix it. But when we are dealing with long-term or chronic issues, like so many of the issues that we deal with that are in the book, it's, it's really not, it's not a solution for us. It doesn't really work. And so that's why I'm a huge proponent of us, um, of knowing what's normal, what's not, or versus what's not. So, um, so if we pre-order the book, there are some amazing bonuses that you're giving away. Tell us about those. Yes, there are. Um, there, so if you go to fixyourperiod.com, uh, we have links for Amazon and, and many other booksellers on there all over the world. And uh, you can get my 14 day fix your period cleanse program. So that's included as part of the bonuses as well as the first chapter of the book. So you have the audio and the print chapter of the book and um, you get a chance to win a spot in my eight week live group program that will track along with the program that's in the book. It's happening May through July. And then um, also I have a period toolkit. So that's a whole other thing. It's got a bunch of guides in it for uh, vaginal steaming, seed cycling, living in harmony with your cycle, CBD for your menstrual cycle, all kinds of things. So lots, yeah, lots, lots of goodies. Loads of goodies and extras, yes. brilliant. So <laughs> thank you so much. Nicole, is there anything else you'd like to tell everyone or do you think we've covered it? I think we've covered it. Yes. I feel like we're keeping the short and sweet so that everyone just gets the gist of what we're talking about here. And I think by the book, if that's mean, what they feel like. Book and, and learn more. And seriously, um, you know, books like this are so rare and, you know, the information is gold dust. So I'm going to be promoting it left, right and center because it's such good value and um, it's going to help a lot of women, which is what we're both trying to do in our careers. So I really appreciate sure. you coming along, Nicole, and, um, and good luck with the launch. Um, you deserve the success and, oh. and um, yeah, good luck and, and hope you get back to New York soon. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you for having me on. It was really great to chat with you as always. And yes, I will be and back. And get there. to sleep. <laughs> yes, that too. That too. Bye for now. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.